hand is the right hand. I want to show you a picture. Show that picture of my family. This picture that you're going to see, I had nothing to do with this. This picture that you're going to see before the afternoon is over. <laughs> this picture, it, this picture right here. Now watch this, man. Every man in here, I need you to say amen as loud as you can. That's the impact of a third grade dropout daddy. This picture. That's the impact of a man who walked with God, who made decisions from a young man all the way to his dying bed, who made decisions to impact his children so that during the worst days of life, his son would keep standing. Without the impact of that godly man, you don't see this picture. So man, I ask you a question. What is your legacy gonna look like one day? Let me, let me just bring it all together. You can take the picture off. Just listen to me. If my daddy taught me what I... We want to take this opportunity to thank you for joining us here today. You know, at Thomas Road Baptist Church, since our very beginning, back in 1956, we've been about one thing and one thing only, and that is to bring the message of hope that comes to Jesus Christ to the world. And today, my friends, we recognize we live in a world that's messed up. We live in a world that's full of division, conflict, and pain, and sorrow. But Jesus came to this world not to bring division and sorrow, but to bring joy, to bring peace, to bring hope. And today, that's the message that we want to share with you. And if you're watching this and you've never had the opportunity of, of connecting with him at that level, of understanding what it is that Jesus came to do, then I encourage you and I want to let you know the greatest news you'll ever hear. And that's this. God loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. In fact, he gave his only son, Jesus, to come to this earth to die on the cross, to pay for your sins and for my sins, to do for us what we never could do for ourselves. What an amazing gift that really is. God loves you. Christ died for you. But three days later, he rose again. And when he came out of that grave, he gives us victory over sin, over Satan, over the grave. He gives us the hope for eternity. But according to God's word, it's very clear. What we must do is believe. We must believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We must believe that he died and that he rose again. And if we do that, according to Romans 10, 13, anyone, that means you, it means me, it means every person that is in this Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And so I encourage you today to recognize that hope that comes to Jesus. And if you've never trusted him as your Lord and Savior, do so today. Believing that he is who he said he is. That he did what he said that he did. Calling on his name. And it will change everything. That is the message that we share. It's a message that we want to take to the entire world. And today I would encourage you to connect with us. Maybe even financially through a gift. You can help us to take this message around the world. I encourage you today to stand with us as we stand with truth, as we stand with hope, to let the world know. Standing with truth, God standing knows. with hope. God loves you, Stormy. I think it's bedtime, Stormy. Thanks, so.